Hello again. Hello again. Hello, Eric again. Hello, Mom again. <laughs>、uh, hey, so you know, we had the、uh, interview with Mother Mary, and there were some things that she contradicted that Jesus actually said. So I want to bring them both in. If you can connect with them and bring Jesus and his mommy in, I would appreciate it. He says, Well, let's bring them both in. <clears throat> oh, I have my tissues ready just in case I get emotional. Oh, Kim, <clears throat> you're such a softie. I'm the same way. Oh, such a softie.、Mm. Um, so, in preparation before this session,、um, I always take time to do a meditation and connect. And,、um, you know, this session was no different. And I already began to hear things,、um, just asking for Jesus to be by my side and be a part of this in every way possible.、Um, I was beginning to hear questions reciprocated back to me.、Um, so his energy is、um, extremely powerful coming、mm. forward. Same thing with, with Mary. Mary's off to the, his side,、um, a little more faint. So he is forward,、um, he's here. Just a strong,、um, a strong resonation of energy、um, with, with purity, with just complete stillness.、Um, so I will try my best to hold it together and to not cry because the, the type of energy, you guys, is unlike any other.、Um, well, I made Jamie cry. The closer his energy got to her, she would just. Cry and cry. So, yeah. It's okay if you cry. There's only, I don't know how many million people watching. It's, he says,、um, <clears throat> he is,、um, he's coming forward and embracing your heart for、um, the way you approach with questions you have. So, What I guess what he means by this is,、um, I will always meet you at your questions. I will always meet you、um, at your desires.、Um, well, thank you. And, and I love just, you both so much. He says,、um, Our love is yours. He's very still, very quiet.、Um, so. Shall we get to the questions? He says there.、Um, oh, go ahead. I don't want start- to interrupt Jesus. No, it's okay. He's starting to talk and says that there,、um, there are many questions、um, connected to like, his passing, connected to his birth, connected to、yes. his mother.、Um, he says.、Um, As we approach question,、um, remain in your heart the constant of what love is.、Um, so, just repeating what he says. Okay. Well, the, 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 one of the main things people want to know is that、uh, Jesus, when we asked you, you said that yours was not a virgin birth. But Mary, when you, we, we asked you, it, it seemed like you. We're saying the opposite. Can you guys clarify? Maybe it's a matter, matter of semantics.、Um, I think that that is accurate as far as his, what he is saying with his energy.、Um, what matters? I have to say, this is what I'm hearing as far as an answer, if we're looking for an answer.、Um, and he's acknowledging, you know, it's not punishment in question, like you shouldn't question this. It's、um, there is comfort in the answer, there is comfort in having that. So he is coming with that approach of understanding that as, as humans, that's how we are, that's how we operate.、Um, So, wanting to provide that comfort, he says, because if, if that is given, peace can be achieved.、Mm-hmm. Um, I have to say, with 
of them, their energy is in sync with, resonating with, um, a virgin birth. So I asked well, why did Jesus you, again. Yeah, why did you say that it was not when we first interviewed you? Um, this is what he's doing. He's holding his just one hand up, which would be his right hand. And he says, this is me. This is me. He just keeps repeating that. Um, there is truth in this virgin birth, he says. Um, and then he says, because of the value, <clears throat> the place that it holds. Um, he says, I ask you this. What... Uh, what difference would it make, virgin birth or not? Well, the, the, now he's not. He says, I don't ask um, <clears throat> really for an answer, but for you to contemplate the power of the difference. Contemplate what I, what my heart is telling you. Well, I think what it is says, important for us is, you know, when you said through Jamie that it was not a virgin birth, was it Jamie's filters getting in the way? And, and that caused him to question, you know, her accuracy. And it's very important to all of us to believe in this because it sure does take a leap of faith. Me as a former skeptic, especially. So that's why this is so important to me. Okay. Was that Jamie's filters getting in the way? Um, <clears throat> this puts me in a very uncomfortable position, but I do feel like he says yes. Okay. Um, when he says, I mean, no, no medium is perfect. Of course we're human. I mean, there's humans and right. everybody has filters, but he says, but there, it's important that we look at this, um, from the perspective of the miracle that it had to be. That is exactly what it is. There is no, um, there is no facade behind it. He says there is no fabrication of um, the events that unfolded that were my birth, a virgin birth. He says um, the miracle, <clears throat> the miracle behind it had to be as such in order to have a profound effect on mankind, um, in order to, to show an understanding with a connection of divine. Because he says, um, had I been born, um, had I been born a common man, the same as all, as all, um, the, the respect wouldn't be there, the following, the understanding, the power wouldn't be there, the love. Um, well, Mar Mary would have been looked at differently, too. He says, this is true. And then he says, um, his birth in the miracle that it was, was meant not just to show that miracles occur, but to turn man's eye to my father, he says, to the divine, the one, he says. So it, 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 he says, rather than putting focus on how I was conceived, how I came in, yes, that is significant. And then he's just tapping on the heart. Um, the, purpose of this is to turn man's eye to my father. He just keeps okay. repeating that. All right. Um, well, we'll move on past that because I, I think we understand about the virgin birth now. Uh, another thing we need to clarify just to make sure is you told us you did not die on the cross, that, you know, you lowered your pulse rate and your respiratory rate and all that and appeared dead, but then you went on to lead a life in France. Is that or is it not true? Historians seem to think that that's the new way of thinking. But 
Only you know. It's like that commercial. Um, Only her hairdresser knows for sure. A Zeblon <laughs> commercial or something. Clear all, I think. He makes me feel like um, this is not true. Um, I'm just emotional because he just keeps um, saying thank you. But um, my not only my birth, um, my death had great significance, and he he's referencing um, symbolism. Um, and in that process, my mother conceiving me how she did and watching me die. Um, this is was given to her, meaning his death on the cross, um, for her to understand the full circle of, and she's still here, by the way, but she wants him to speak for the moment being okay. anyway. Um, he says that this was, my death on the cross was given to her for her, the understanding of my life to be given to her full circle, like as a gift. Um, because again, it, he says, oh, so hard to like shift with the energy, but, um, mm. he says, um, could you imagine being my mother? Could you imagine what I've this meant there. and how you mm -hmm. had to raise this child. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, so why, why did we find out from that in, in that one session that you moved to France and you had five kids and two of them died and all that detail? He makes me feel like this... Um, this is, this is how he describes that. He says irrational, and then he says um, theories. I feel like there are numerous theories on how the rest of his life played out. Um, but he keeps giving the word untruth, and he has one hand on his heart and then a hand up like this when he says this. Okay. Um, he just says untruth. Well, how many children did you have? He's not answering that question. He's just silent. What well, can you answer it, please? If I were to stop on a number based on the energy, um, he there's not a lot of communication energetically, but okay, I would guess I would guess three because there's three. Um, to explain it energetically, there's three waves. Okay, at least between me and him. So I would okay. maybe. Uh, well, Jesus, why don't you just give her a number? You are Jesus, after all. You can do anything. That echoed. When you said that, he echoed you and said anything. Um, there, if, when I ask him why the, hes like, why the hesitancy, why is there no number, um, It's something about the focus. This isn't the focus, he says. Like trying to shift the focus. But I would I would anticipate possibly three. Um, because that's I'm not getting a number, I'm not seeing a number like I generally would. Okay. It's waves and energy that are coming. There's at least three, so Did you have any, um, any what about siblings? Did you have any siblings? He, sh he nods his head yes, um, and he says many. Okay. But again, he says that that term is so... Siblings is, is um, in his eyes, it's... <laughs> we're all siblings, he says. So I know the way you ask me the question and the kind of answer you're looking for, but he... And he, that's how he gave his answer... But um, we are all siblings. And then he kind of he's talking about how if there is a fear that I can rest within you, um, it is that people often worry 
Will I find my loved ones when I go back home? Will I find my family? He says, I, he says, I remind you this. We are all family. You, this is given to you. Like, we are all family. And it's, he's trying to show it as a gift. Okay. Like, everybody's family. Of course. So just remember that, that everybody. Well, sure. Go ahead. Well, if you say you had three children, then that implies that you did have a life after your crucifixion. Could it be that there are two parallel quantum probabil prob uh, probable realities? One where you died on the cross and one where you did not? Um, he says no. And then um, when I ask him, I say, well, well what, is the, what is the three you know, waves of energy. What is that? What does that mean? Um, he's just real silent. He doesn't okay. answer that. So I'm he's just misunderstanding secret. three waves. Maybe okay. the three waves aren't a number of children, but um, he, whenever I ask him again, what is the three waves? Is that three children? Okay. He doesn't answer. All right. Well, when was your birth date and your death date? Um, he smiles and says, um, first of all, he's giving me a symbol for eternal, eternity. So, um, there is a lot of speculation over this, he says. Um, he makes me feel like his, um, his birth date, I am going into the later end of the year. It feels cold out. Okay. Um, it is, he says, it is as we celebrate. Okay, all right. It's confusing to me. That's so confusing to me. But anyway, um, he says, it is as we celebrate. Um, That's what Mary said. So what about your death and date? Then, His, his death date he shows me um, in the spring because he shows me there it, it, it's not, he says there's significance in the timing and why it was there. He says, do you remember the time or the part um, in which I said to you the symbolism uh, that represents my, my passing? Um, and my birth is significant. Um, it's not, again, because of, not only, not limited to, because of what I went through for you, but again, to turn your eyes. So um, he says his death occurred when the world around him, everything around him, was representative of new life. Okay. So that's why I feel like it's springtime. Um, okay, that's good. And now. that's exactly what. He says, that's exactly what my death represented oh. for man, um, new life. And again, that was because that was to turn your eyes to my father and receive new life okay. through my death. Well, only one more question. Uh, how much of the Bible is true? You know, it was written by men. I'm sure a lot of it was channeled. But... Uh, how much of it, or maybe a better question would be, what are a couple of the ones that are not, the concepts that are not true? He says, um, there is a lot of the Bible that has been changed over the years. Um, and it, he's showing me actually, you know how we play the telephone game. By the time the message goes all the way around the circle, oh, it's yeah. almost a different message. Um, but I encourage you, he says, um, my words remain true. So I think he, what he means is, like, my words in the Bible, uh, my words remain true. Okay, your so actual whatever, words. Um, but reactions, family, you know, uh, family reactions, others, um, some has changed. Some has, um, and then he's giving me this energy of stretched. Um, but he says what's important is 
not to clarify one way or another what is true, what is false. Understand what you're comfortable with. Accept it as such, and you will be met there okay. by me. Says. Right. Um, so no matter, he says, it's kind of like saying, uh, no matter what your beliefs are, um, accept them and accept yourself for those beliefs. Um, don't be cruel. Don't punish yourself, he says, and you'll be met there. Okay. Anything else you, Jesus, or your mother, Mary, any, anything else you want to say before we close? Um, Mary actually steps in and there, she's not saying anything, Elisa, but what she's, well, I guess it's more an energy of gratitude, but she's actually, um, showing her working on your aura. Um, God, it needs all the help it can get. Please help my aura. She's starting at the top of you and just kind of going down and she's leaving a trail of like this deep blue. Mm. Um, and, and somehow this is, it's funny because, you know, just coming out of Mother's Day, but um, what she's doing is helping you align with the way you mother people. She is very grateful for the way, um, she says, I don't even know if you see it like I do, the way you mother people, uh, you, you give them your best. That's what mothers are. That's what mothers do. So she's thanking you for giving yourself selflessly um, and trying to help them be their best. Them being um, everybody that you're connected to through the whole Channeling Eric, the blog, the website. Um, she says, do you see it? She says, you're a high mother. You're a higher mother. Mm. And she just keeps thanking you. They so just know that... Mama Medus, they call me. So I like, uh, and I like that. It's, uh, and coming from the quintessential mother, that, that means a lot. Thank you. And thank you, Jesus, also for coming in and helping clarify things. Appreciate it. He just responds and he says, in love. So um, that's all he says. He's beginning to pull his energy back and he just says, in love. So just a reciprocation of gratitude. Okay. Um, but do everything in love. Of course. Thank you. And thank you, Kim. Thank you, my sweet little Eric. I love you. You're welcome. Eric says, <clears throat> he's, it's interesting, Elisa, because I have to take a minute to tell you this. Um, he's, he's very funny today. He's very frisky, but he's also very tall. I know this might sound strange, but he looks like a skyscraper to me. Oh like when gosh. I look up. So I think that's his way of just expressing that he's growing, that okay. he's still okay. evolving. Like he, he, it's just interesting. He looks really tall and he feels very secure and strong. So very safe feeling. Um, he says, <laughs> he says, I love you. He's making fun. Um, cause my husband makes fun of me for being tall. He's like, how's the weather up there? Uh -huh. And Eric's like, don't worry, Kim. I got you covered now just yeah. because I see him so tall. <laughs> right, right. The weather's fine. But, uh, All right. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody. You. Get ready for your next session. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. You too. Mwah. Bye.